I'm Nick Hughes, and this is Founders Live Conversations. This is key. If, if entrepreneurs or founders hear me say anything on this whole interview, it's that there's a lot of things you can do, but you need to be the best at one thing. God, you need to I'm focus. So, I am so glad you said that. And let's dive deeper on that. Because yeah. I see the biggest mistake, again, if you're a founder listening to what we're saying, the biggest mistake that I see with a lot of rookie founders and sometimes even ones that are more seasoned is they chase all these ideas. Yep. They, their pitch deck is full of like X, Y, Z, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. And what they haven't done is nailed one thing best in the world. Yep. Because that's what people do is people pay for the best in the world. And once you can repeat that, that thing scales. So how did, yeah, like, let's talk about you how can you can take over that. the Axis forces, but you've got to establish a beachhead, right? Exactly. You've got to make landfall first. Yeah. Because if you decide that you're just going to take over all of Europe, um, it's not going to happen. No. You've got to establish that beachhead because if you're doing anything that I would call a startup and not a small business, you're going after a large market opportunity that is highly inefficient, where there are big lumbering incumbents that don't want you to succeed. Right. And you've got to be very focused about how you're going to make landfall. So that's why they call it a beachhead. You've got to establish a beachhead. And I'm sitting here talking about how you have to do this. As I'm hearing myself say it, it's like, man, every single day I have to tell myself, focus on the one thing that matters. Yep. yep. Um, so for us, uh, we established a metric, which is gross listed value, which is the sum value of all the products that we have listed on the market available to be purchased by builders and developers. And that's how we establish if we're doing well or not. So our goal by the end of the year is to have $396 million in gross listed value. Not 400? Not 400. No, we couldn't get there. It just, the, <laughs> the model didn't work out. Um, but I think that's, that's key is um, I was meeting with a great founder in town here, uh, Liz Pierce. She ran Liz Liquid great. Planner. And uh, she's helping me out in uh, thinking about metrics. And we were talking yesterday and she said, I really think in your leadership meeting, you guys should tie every single thing that you're talking about to this North Star metric. I thought that was really good advice. Yeah. Um, when you have a North Star metric and everyone in the company knows what it is, and everyone's talking about what they're doing and how interesting it is, you can always say, but how does that tie into that North Star metric? Is it moving that metric and can you show us how? I think that's a really smart I mean, way to do it. It is amazing. Great advice, Liz. Um, yeah. I've actually interviewed her, not on this show, but uh, in person in front of a crowd. She's, she's very wise. She's stellar. Yeah. Um, okay, so 